Somebody cap everybody. So we're back out here at the rooftop bar, which is on uh, Tonglo Travelers uh, Hostel. And uh, I'm just gonna show you around so you can see what it's like in the, um, you know, it's a little bit darker out, the lighting's on, the tables and chairs are all set up. And uh, you know, you can come out here and have a drinky. Also the fan is going, so uh, I wasn't going earlier on. It's a little noisy, but not too, too not, not too bad. Okay, let's uh, just take a look, see you around. guys so the first rooftop bar we're going to try is actually visible from uh, the Tonglo BTS station oh, no. I usually pass by it when I'm uh, on the BTS on the way to uh, you know on the way to Sukhumvit area so it's uh, just here the rooftop bar it looks like it might not be open right now let's hope it is uh, it's kind of a long walk up there there is no elevator up here so basically like you can see kind of the lower floor there I think it's called a TT or something like that um, I don't know, I'll have to look at it when I get down there, but it's uh, got like a little kind of a cafe down there or you can walk up to the rooftop and have a beer outside. So uh, let's go in and take a look-see. So I'm waiting for my buddy Chris to arrive. Uh, he is gonna be co-hosting this series with me. It's kind of, uh, we're gonna call it Rooftop Raiders. So um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be checking out some rooftop bars around Bangkok. And we're gonna be kind of, um, you know, we're gonna be raiding them from, uh, I don't know, like we're gonna, I have to come up with a system I have basically out of five. I'm gonna rate them on five different criteria and rate them out of five on each of those criteria and see who wins at the end. So uh, I'm gonna try and do one every week or whatever the case may be. We're also gonna rate them in uh, like three separate categories. So there's gonna be like category one, which is gonna be cheap. Cheap rooftop like this. Category two is gonna be like obviously middle of the, uh, middle of the road kind of one, like not too expensive, not too, uh, not too cheap. And then the, you know, the uh, third one will be the uh, exclusive, the elite rooftop bars. Hey, Chris. How's it going, Chris? So we're going to go up and we're going to check out this place. And uh, we've been here before, but we're going to go up and give it a good rating. A rating. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's do that. Rooftop raiders. So once you get off the uh, BTS stop here at Tonglo, you basically just continue on around here, heading up towards Ekamai. But it's uh, literally just before you even get to this, um, this escalator back up towards the uh, B uh, Tonglo BTS. So it's uh, just opposite that actually, I think. No, it's actually not. It's uh, just here. So what you're looking out for is the Subways. There's a Subway sandwich shop just here. And right next to it is this little door here. So like I said, very, very easy to miss. Like you would not know it was here if you weren't looking for it. So we're gonna go up now in a second. There's no uh, elevator or escalator or anything like that up here. So you do have to walk up to the top floor, which is uh, can be a uh, can be quite the uh, task. The oh. door. Hopefully it's open. I know. That, well, I see the cafe is open, but I was looking at the uh, the rooftop from. Watch out for low ceiling for you. Yep, yeah, that's it. Like, look, look, check this out, guys. Oh. Just have to do it kind of a. That's no, okay. Oh, look at this. Sorry, man. Just gonna do a kind of a quick head comparison. So, yeah, you really gotta look out. Like, look at that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's kind of like. It's kind of like um, being in the shire when you're Gandalf. Saudi cap? 
this is kind of the uh, the cafe. Is the rooftop bar open? Uh, no. Uh, no. Not yet. Yeah, we open at five o'clock. Oh, five o'clock. The dreaded five o'clock again. <laughs> okay. Uh, can we go up and have a look? Oh yeah, but it's still a little bit messy. But okay. If you don't yeah, 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 just, yeah, yeah, just want to see it. Okay, we're just gonna go up and have a look, and we'll uh, we'll come back down here and have a coffee. We'll it's rate it down. Yeah. Chill out, get a meal. yeah, yeah, it's a nice area just to chill out and look. So, uh, let's do it. so check this out. Is this I'm your producer. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> we have this is the craft beer machine, is it? Yes. Okay, so you have craft beer here, and it looks looks very homemade to me. So good stuff. Uh, Alright, so are these also do you also do? Is it like uh, homemade bottle stuff? The Duchess of Bourgogne. Hop heads. Okay. I thought that was a flat tire there for a second. I was gonna say, Jesus, my friend from Chiang Mai will be, he'll be on the next bus down. He loves flat tire beer. Okay. So I'm uh, not sure what floor we're on, but there's quite a few more to go. Floor two, I think this is the guys floor. This is also a hostel. Yeah, yeah, this is a hostel as well. So this is, um, and it's split up, isn't it? It's like girls on one floor, boys on the other floor. It's segregated. They call it dorms. Uh-huh. They don't want any sexy shenanigans. Uh-huh. No premarital stuff. Okay, looks like we're here now. Oi. Okay, so they're, the guy did say well, they're not set up just yet. But uh, this is the, the general vibe of the place. Obviously, you have the tables and chairs all set up. You can just sit right here, have a couple of beers, and Wait, watch the city. Yeah. BTS. Wave to everyone on the BTS. Check out the uh, ongoing traffic. So, uh, saying I'm finding that the places that are like a little bit less expensive you don't get the views as much yeah this is probably only like four floors five floors right so uh you know if you're if you're going to more budget uh you know conscious um what's it called rooftop bar or rooftop drinking experience you know it's still nice so you're still outdoors you're still you know open a rooftop but uh the, with the more kind of middle middle oh, sorry middle of the road versus the more elite kind of rooftop bars you get an absolute unbelievable view that's something to be, aware, uh, to be aware of. Okay, I'll just give you another quick look around and we'll go downstairs. And we'll give this, we'll have to come up with a rating system for starters. And then... Uh, do you want to get more, um, do you want to get some more, I can't kind of chat. You can talk about how we're going to also do the Marriott. Okay. We're going to do that rooftop bar at some point. Okay, so just check out this, uh, this building here, guys. <laughs> that is uh, the Marriott Hotel. That also has a really good rooftop bar. So it'd be probably in the, the elite um the elite range so we'll probably you know that'll be on the the third one and i believe the t1 building also has a rooftop bar i okay. haven't been to it yet and i've heard as well this sky view or the skywalk place next to the w um market where we go to okay has a rooftop nice. bar so we can go there too yep cool so yeah some good good selections all right let's go down and have a okay so we're going to do a rating system. So the rating system is based out of five. So number one is affordability. So uh, obviously there are some uh, rooftops that are crazy expensive and there's some that are very, very reasonable. This is a more reasonable one. So this is obviously a score high on this one. The rest of this will probably be a little bit less. Of so affordability, the first one, location, the view, the nice view from the, the roof. Uh, the menu is a nice eclectic menu. Is there a lot available? and then the general ambience, the feeling that you get when you're there. So, uh, okay, let's start. All right. So, uh, we actually have this menu here. So, like, for example, uh, comfortable breakfast, 75 baht. <laughs> you can't go wrong there. You can't go wrong there. So, uh, you know, uh, 90 baht for, you know, the, the latte. It's pretty reasonable. Yeah. What I like is the menu has a mixture of both Western and Thai food, so I mean, 
yeah. you have a, a real strong preference if you're not into Thai food? Sure. Yeah, you can get cookies. Let's go. <laughs> Except for today. I don't see the green menu, but uh, I'll ask for that. So uh, yeah, like everything else seems to be very, very reasonable. So I gotta say, affordability, I have to give it a good five. Yeah. Okay, so we're we'll open to say five. And say, yeah, okay. Um, the location, it's right in Tong though, and it's just opposite the BTS. Like, I kind of showed you all already, but even just to see again, like there's the escalator down from the BTS just outside the window. So you couldn't be closer to the BTS, like, you know, it's right next to the BTS. Hardly any walking at all to do. Nope. And it's in Tongo, which is a very exclusive area of, of uh, Bangkok. So again, I gotta get every five. Yep. Okay, the view, here's where it's gonna fail. It's, it's not the best view. Like, you know, it's a rooftop, so it's a better view than, obviously, if you're stuck inside or something like that, but... Um, you're only four floors up. Yeah, you are. You're, 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 it's, it's not the highest. Like it's, it's like four or five floors. Just um, above BTS. Yeah, you're pretty much level. <laughs> you're almost at eye level with the, the top tier step level of the BTS stuff. So uh, you can pretty much have a conversation with people that are queuing up for the BTS to get their, their train home, like, you know? And give them a good salute. Hey, All right. what's your name? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fuck you, Tyson. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, so the view, I'm going to give it a two. Uh, what do you think? Well, at night, at night it's a little bit better. Uh, two, uh, two is okay. I think two is fair. fair. Yeah, but is it, you know, when you say it's okay, it, it, the view is going to be the same, sure. The view All right, okay. go with a two. Compared uh, to some two? of the other places, yeah, yeah, it's a two. I think you're probably thinking of the ambience. The ambience is probably nice to like, the view around the actual rooftop. It's agree, agree, awesome. yeah. 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 Okay, the menu. Um, it's a really good menu. Like, it's, uh, you know, it's not plush. You know what I mean? It's yes. not like a uh, flash, but it's very reasonable and there's a good bit on it. I'm going to give it a four. Wow. Well, I've ordered from it a few times. I've never had anything bad. Never. Everything's been really good. I've gotten both like French fries to like you know Thai side dishes, uh, Thai sausage and stuff like that. It's been really good. Okay. It's fast. You get it, you get it in like five ten minutes of that. Okay. So what are you gonna give it? I would give it a four. Again? Okay. Yeah. Four. four. Okay. We're pretty much matched up. Here we go. Okay. Ambience. I'm probably gonna have to come back for that because um, when we went up, it was uh, it was closed. So. Um, I've been here before, but honestly, I can't remember to give it a good judgment. So uh, I probably, I'm probably going to come back later and uh, rate it then. But for the purpose of doing this, um, this thing, I'm literally going to pause for a second. So there it is, guys. He's kind of got it set up. Kinda. Do it more light though. Well, maybe that's enough. We'll see. Okay. Ah, salut. Salut. So, uh, I don't know. Well, it's probably not fair to deduct any points for tonight because. Uh, first night? Yeah, first night. Also, it's, you know, the manager had a bit of a mishap and, like, you know, yeah. there was no one here to kind of cover for him. So, uh, well, there's a girl, a lady working downstairs, but she, you know, she's, I, I think she's new also. So, yeah. uh, yeah, we had to kind of help ourselves kind of thing, like, you know. We gave her enough money to cover two beers, and I think she was like, okay, when I find out how much they cost, I'll bring you home changed. I was like, oh, okay. I'm sure you're well covered with tells them after two beers. We're drinking, um, it's called Christoffel. It's a uh, Belgian beer. It's a Belgian white beer. Well, um, wheat beer, I assume. Yeah, I've had this before, have you? Uh, I don't think I've had this particular one, but you know, it, it tastes pretty generic. Like it's like, it tastes like any wheat beer I've ever yeah. had. So it's, uh, yeah. you know, no different than Whole Garden or, you know, so. So I think we uh, officially christened the place, okay. the official reopened since they, they said they were what, closed for nine months? Mm. Nine months? Yeah. And it looks like they, um, they redesigned the bar. The bar used to be much smaller mm -hmm. and just flush against the back wall there. Yeah. Um, it looks good. Yeah, looks good. I like it. Um, 
and uh, it's pretty dark up here but I like that as well it's a nice little ambience in the place you know um, if you were going on a date and you didn't have to uh, or you didn't uh, want to impress her too much yeah just the right amount yeah yeah you know, this is a good place to bring her yeah the questions I always get asked is like how do you know about this place and why are you making me walk up four flights of stairs in high heels? <laughs> that would get you. Like that would get you in trouble. Like as we all know, Thai ladies do not like to walk. They don't like to walk. Not <laughs> at all. Yeah. I was going to say there, Thai ladies do not like physical exertion. That's not true. <laughs> Definitely not true. <laughs> okay. So what are you going to give? I mean, honestly, I'd give it a, a solid three because I like I like how they have that lit up. Okay. I like that it's intimate, small. Okay. Uh, it's cool that they don't over blast the music. And I like the idea that you're right in front of the BTS. You can you can see the party happening on the Marriott. You can see the T1 building. Um, I like looking down my old street, <laughs> Zombie Street. Uh, I, I imagine I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to come back anyway just to get the footage. Yeah. But I imagine I'm going to agree with you. So uh, on that basis, if I don't, I'll correct the record later. But uh, on the basis that we're in agreement on that. That means that at a potential 25, um, I have given it 15, 12, uh, 16, uh, 19. And you will give it the same. There we go. So it is a 19 out of 25 from both of us. It's a pretty good rating. Yeah. Not bad for the first one. Yeah. And uh, that is the Tonglo Traveler's uh, rooftop bar. So uh, if you're ever in the Tonglo area and you're you know you look for a good place to come and hang out and have a beer, coffee or water, <laughs> whatever takes your fancy, or all three, <laughs> or all three at the same time, and you want some some muesli, <laughs> come check this place out. It's pretty cool. And you know what? If you just fancy the aircon, this is actually a really nice cafe yeah. as well. This is on the first floor. You know, really really nice and cool right now. I'm actually enjoying it. Yeah, the, the not stingy with the aircon. Yeah. Exactly, I enjoy it, and it's, yeah, it's a perfect size as well, like, you know, yeah. for the fun. So uh, anyway, that's the first Rooftop Raiders, we will catch you on the next one. Next one, we're probably going to do a middle of the road one, I think we have our eye on a place called The Nest. So uh, we're hoping to get there, and uh, we'll do a review of that next week. Okay, that's all then guys, cheers.